Chicago was like Oz. Zanies was started in 1978. They had a great idea, but they didn't know how to execute it. There's nothing like this in Chicago. Let's build a theater where we could do this play that I wrote. My first paid gig, I got $20. It was really exciting. <laughs> A new documentary goes behind the scenes of Chicago stand-up scene from the 80s to today. Laugh Till You're Winded features candid interviews with Jeff Garland, Dion Cole, Hannibal Burris, Judy Tenuta, and many more. Michael Alexander directed the documentary. He's a 30-year comedy veteran. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So does this mean that you've been rolling behind the scenes on people over the course of things from the 80s, or are you just asking people and reflecting back on their time? It's pretty funny. I wish that I had a time machine. And yeah. I, I would have better B-roll. Yeah. <laughs> if I could go back, but uh, no, it's a project that started uh, around, it'll be three years uh, post-production, pre-production, I'm sorry, in December. Yeah. So just traveled around the country, um, just interviewing uh, comedians who are either originally from Chicago or if they were transplants, people who launched their career from Chicago. And is there a, a particular element of Chicago that is important in the world of comedy? Well. For me, the reason that I made the film is because, you know, we don't have a lot of uh, big stars in front of the camera from Chicago when it comes to comedians, but we have a lot of writers, producers, showrunners, um, and I wanted to showcase um, those people. And, and, and basically, Chicago has helped shape comedy, you know, nationally. Yeah. But unfortunately, a lot of people are unaware of people like John Regi, who's a co-executive producer of 30 Rock, yeah. or uh, Greg Liena, who's a screenwriter of Meet the Parents, you know, mm -hmm. and, and a host of others. And I'll start here. And you know, have you guys met yeah. um, Pat on yeah, the yeah, uh, comedy circuit? Have, you know, I mean, you've, you've been entrenched in the scene for so long, and you know so much of its history. But in making this documentary, was there anything that surprised you? Anything that you didn't know or anything you learned about the scene that, that maybe you were blind to or didn't know? Well, I just, you know, there were experiences that a lot of comedians had that I just wasn't aware of. Yeah. And, and some experience, there was some commonality, but I just had no idea that, you know, this particular comedian experienced something that was that similar to a, an experience that I had. Um, I learned a lot more about uh, women in comedy and um, how difficult it is for uh, female comedians to be able to get work and to be respected like uh, the male counter counterparts. And I definitely... Mm -hmm. Uh, we explore that. I a think lot. we have a soundbite of one of the uh, female comedians that you talked to. Let's see if we can throw it at that here. If you're a headliner, you're entitled to say whatever you want. Most of their headliners are male. They'll say, You do stand up like a man. But not doing it like a man. You're just saying because you think it's funny, then it is like a man. Yeah, so that's the, ca that's the catch, right? And this is a common theme that you heard from a lot of the women? Yeah, I mean, really, it's not even just other male comedians that, unfortunately, too many of them feel that way about female comedians, but it's, you know, audience members, especially men, yeah. who, who just have this notion that women aren't as funny as men. And it's ridiculous because being funny has nothing to do with your gender. It has everything to do with the way that you see the world and your intelligence. And I saw that that was a uh, lady's name was Toomey. No relation to Mike no Toomey. <laughs> and you're familiar though. with Mike Toomey from the comedy scene I too, have known, yeah? I have known Mike probably 32 oh years. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started in 1985. I would have met Mike within a month or two. Basically. That was 82 wow. when I started. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is there something about it that's addictive? I mean, most people say, God, if you, if you haven't gotten your own sitcom by a certain time, I know that used to be the bellwether, but is there something, is it addictive being on stage that keeps people coming back? Absolutely. When, yeah. I, when I started doing stand-up in 1985, it's all I thought about for years. And um, I just couldn't wait to get on stage, you know, in between times. Like, I started and I only got stage time on, the, uh, on a Thursday and a Sunday, and just five minutes each time. But the entire week, I would just be consumed <laughs> with the thought of going on stage and seeing if what I had worked, crafted, you know, over maybe a five or six uh, day period of time, if that was any good, so. Who's gonna mm. make it with the audience? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, there, there are people out there, like Mike, and there's some guys at your event that I was not familiar with, and they are hilarious. Does the industry have some kind of bias against people in Chicago that they don't say, you go on Seinfeld today? 
I just think we're ignored. It's the whole reason why I made the film. I think, uh, I don't know if it's just our placement in the country or, because Chicago is known for a place uh, as a stand-up comic to get a lot of stage time, especially now, because there's this huge open mic boom and you can get up three times per night um, if you'd like to on certain nights. So it's a good place. It's like a training ground for, for comedians. But unfortunately, I don't think that the industry comes to Chicago to kind of pluck us, you know, you know, out of here and then take us to Los Angeles or New York. You have to go to LA. You mm. have to go to New York. You just don't really have a choice in that. Mm. Well, the Chicago premiere of Laugh Till You're Winded is at Zany's in Chicago. It's tonight at 8 if you want to check it out. Michael, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Thank it's a pleasure you. to meet you. You too. Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna.